just jump right into theories. Yeah, I've already kind of tiptoed around a couple <laughs> yeah. of them. Let's just go so, right to it. I'm going to go into uh, what law enforcement thinks. Okay. So the general theory, the cliff notes, is authorities believe he got, got lost and died in the wilderness. Obviously, that's uh, a good likelihood. Um, so the main detective now was... This is where the the path of tra- the tracks he had comes into play. He was talking about how the direction the, the tracks were going was headed towards I-91 South, which was about 20 miles away from his truck. Terry is an experienced hunter. He's been in this area for a long time. Even his own advice is to stay with the truck. Um, so they all thought it was very weird that he would do that. And that he would not stay with the truck, yeah. walk away. And even found one of his cigarettes like 200 yards away from the truck. So they know he right, was so out he, there walking. He was, he was smoking, smoking a cigarette and walking away. Okay. So um, the law enforcement pretty much ruled out suicide based on fr- friends and family statements. Um, he was not suicidal at the time. He's planning a hunting trip yeah. for his family. He was on his medication. Yeah. Um, so they don't think he went out there to commit suicide. And he had all the gear with him. The, what the was hunts. the anniversary of his wife? How, how many years? 24 prior? years. Okay, so it's not recent. No. Not recent enough to be like... A major triggering event. Exactly. Like it's, it's so been many years. Coupled with other tr- you know, stressful events. Well, I'm just saying in yeah. general, like coupled with other stressful events, I think could create that bipolar episode. But like I would say suicide's off table. Yeah. Based on the planning, what was happening, his age, how long ago that incident occurred. Yeah. Okay. So the lead detective's theory on this case, he says, Terry got stuck got out of his vehicle and tried to dig himself out. This area at this time would have been very cold and moist, and Terry would have gotten cold trying to dig himself out. He got to the point where hypothermia started to be a factor. It could have uh, could have been uh, very cold at this point. For some reason, either he saw headlights or saw something else and made the determination to walk in the direction he did. Okay. He said, due to his medical condition and potential hypothermia, he veered off the road and got into some thick brush and got lost. They said, he goes on to say, he might have not had additional medication with him. So we don't know. Yeah, I wonder what the half-life is of the bipolar medication he well, was on. And if he got stuck on the 21st, we don't know how long he stayed at his truck. If he didn't plan on being out there for longer than a day, he maybe didn't bring any medication with him. And I don't know how long you can go off that medication, but uh, the detective seems to think that the combination of his bipolar disorder and hypothermia, which already will cause people to make, you know, not make the best decisions. He decided to walk Mm -hmm. and went into the woods for some reason and got lost and succumbed to the wilderness, the wilderness in the woods somewhere. And the detective points out that he said, there's a lot of scavengers in this part of the woods. There's coyotes, foxes, bear, black bears, um, that, could potentially disrupt the remains of somebody. Okay. Um, uh, real quick, I know we didn't know what he was on. Uh, I just looked up uh, benzodiazepines because that's an anti-anxiety med- medication typically prescribed yeah. to bipolar. So it's just we're assuming we don't know that he was on know. benzos. Um, they work as quick as thirty to sixty minutes, but it says they can wear off after a few hours. So if he did not bring enough yeah. for multiple days, plus the stress, plus the cold he could have potentially slowly went into some sort of episode. Yeah, so that is the the leading theory for law enforcement. Uh, his son had another theory that maybe he tried to walk back to Rock Springs and made it to the highway where someone picked him up. Um, I don't think... I don't think that happened. I don't think that happened. Um, and like my we, hunch says that didn't happen. Yeah, and like we said, uh, you know, they pretty much ruled out suicide based on just all of the... Yep. The, uh, the factors in the case, so... That was law enforcement family theories. What, um, what's your thoughts? I, um, I don't want to like belabor that point, but I do feel like it was a medical episode that it made him. Wow, that just keeps read. <laughs> I, I keep closing that, and it keeps wanting to pop back up. Hold on, let me quit that so it stops that noise. Um, I don't think. I think he would have stayed with his truck is if he wasn't in some sort of altered mental status. Something made him go that direction and then randomly veer off somewhere else. I feel like that could, if it was cold, 
if he's off, like medications wearing off, uh, maybe in a stress state already. Yeah. Um, you kind of have that perfect storm situation, which I feel like sounds rare, but usually makes sense well, because if, if it's not happening, I feel like he would have been on the road and someone would have found him eventually. Something well, made him veer off there. And think of the angle of the truck. So he's a 74 year old man. You know, I'm in my thirties and I ache things hurt. Yeah. Can you imagine spending several days like if he has no camping gear, his only option is to stay in the cab of the truck at an angle like this. Yeah. I mean, that would be uncomfortable for anybody, let alone somebody in their 70s. Oh, you know, like what you're saying is maybe he did stay in the truck for a long, as long time. As he could, and it just, he couldn't. Like he got to the point where he's like, I got to move. I can't stay in here any longer. And, I didn't think about that. And you couldn't stay outside because if it's cold and rainy, like your only option is stay inside the truck. Because yeah. you could keep it running and keep the heat going. But if it's so uncomfortable that he can't physically stand there, you know, he's probably just like, F it. I'm going to oh, try man. and walk somewhere. I like wish he would have kept digging. Right. After that much time, I feel like you could have made a rut big enough to get the tires out or something. Yeah. So I, I mean, don't know. Maybe if you had more people, like if there's yeah. a couple guys with you. Yeah, I don't know what type of condition he was in his ability to dig either. At, at and like, like you said, if he didn't bring any additional medication with him, yeah, he, started he may have been think good clearly. for the first day and then went off his meds and that yeah. started affecting his thought process i tend to agree with the law enforcement theory that i i think he tried to stay at the truck as long as he could and at a certain point he's just like i can't i don't know you know i can't stay any longer Mm -hmm. and the combination of probably being cold and off his meds he started walking and then oh it's so frustrating i wonder how close he was to like how far how long was the window from when he began walking to when the truck was discovered yeah like, you almost don't want it to be close. Yeah. You want it to be, like, a long time, like, um, oh, I don't want to think about it. That's just, that no, sucks. but, yeah, it's, uh, so, a uh, very puzzling case. Um, nothing of his gear, you know, his handgun has never been found. The clothing he was wearing hasn't been found. Um, they continue to, you know, search the area from time to time, family and friends, but it's, uh Another really strange case where footprints basically just vanish into the woods. What's your off the deep end? <laughs> I've got one. Uh, let's hear yours. I don't know. Um, aliens. Aliens. Okay. Like I, and only because what made me think of it as like purely an off the deep end theory yeah. is what made him go away from the truck. Ah. Did he see lights? Jackalope. A, a jackalope. A rabbit jackalope. A, he followed a jackalope to the alien ship. No, I'm thinking <laughs> yeah. like... Um, with like UFO lights going towards that thing, it's a car, and then pop, yeah, abducted, abducted. Yep, that's my off the deep end. I feel like because like that area is very like New Mexico ish looking, yeah, like Roswell style, very low population. So like that it. that's yeah. my off the deep end. Off the deep end aliens. Yeah. Yep. Well, um, are you gonna join me on the off the deep end train? I'm I'm on your train. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go it. Let's do it. All right. Punch my ticket.